Jackie Even. I'm a French. I'm a professor in physics, and I'm a professor in the INSA engineering school in Rennes. And so my background is uh, the one of a physicist, mostly involved in uh, experiments at the beginning, and now I'm uh, almost only involved on the theory side, working uh, on perovskites full time now. So for perovskites. I think that uh, the most important uh, thing is uh, low cost and high efficiency at the same time, which is very unusual if you consider this from the OPV point of view. But in fact, the point is it's not organic photovoltaics, it's a real semiconductor that we are talking about. So it's a new kind of semiconductor. Then you can think about all the possible applications of uh, semiconductors, and this is, uh, in my opinion, the reason behind the success of uh, hybrid power skies. The silicon-based one has, uh, is a mature technology, obviously. It has been developed over 60 to 70 years. Then uh, we have to wait a little bit for hybrid power skies. There are many technological pro uh, problems up to now. Obviously, photo stability is a big problem, but Maybe there are some solutions. Lead is also something that could be a problem. It, de it will depend on the regulation, especially in Europe. Not maybe uh, such a big problem for the US, for example. If you think about uh, PV farms, then if you are able to introduce some recycling of the PV uh, modules, then maybe it's not a big problem. In addition to this, you have also to think about uh, developing not only the perovskite itself, but uh, all the contact technology, which is very important. So, but I think that we will, uh, uh, we will have a lot of efforts on this if we are, we are able, for example, to, to go over 20% efficiency very easily with this new technology. So maybe at least I would say uh, I see some future probably for tandem cells on silicon. If someone is able to go over 25%, then we will have a big success. And uh, people from industry will be interested a lot by doing a uh, low-cost tandem cell on silicon. And uh, some people are speaking about uh, 30%, for, for example. This would be a, a great deal. In addition to this, probably we will see some uh, LED, light, light emitting devices uh, based on perovskites, because obviously we are speaking about semiconductors. Maybe the future is not for the single modules based only on perovskites. Maybe then we will see for this. But I think we have to be confident again with the perovskites.